How's it going guys? Welcome to my part of the internet. Now I've just saw the Armika reveal. Uh, she's not my type of character. I pretty much prefer old men. So Goken again and stuff. <laughs> Let's not take that out of context. But a lot of people seem to think she plays like Fuerte. I don't know what she plays like. Um, I'm not really familiar with her work. But uh, I'm going to analyse the game frame by frame, the reveal trailer. And I'm just going to discuss what I think it holds. Now I know a lot of people have been saying at PAX. They're going to get their hands on Armika, so I think a lot more information will come out in the next couple of days. And I will just be making guesses, but uh, I want to do it just for my sake, so my discussion. So there's not actually Armika. Armika is that butt there. That is Armika, and they, <laughs> that's fine. We've got some vaginal clipping for her partner, but her partner there is an established character in Street Fighter. She hasn't really been in much. Maybe some comics and stuff. I think I've got a comic with her in. It seems to say Nades Shiko on her chest. That might be her name, I'm not sure. But uh, Armika has... What was that saying in the background? Thanks for being... I'm not sure. Near the clock up there. Thanks for being something, something. End! Dudley confirmed. One, two, the end. <laughs> if only. Anyway, uh, she seems to have a, a V-reversal, a V-trigger or something, which um, invokes this lady here. We'll see that more later. Okay, so that's Armika. She does have quite a bit of boob jiggle. I have no no restriction on saying that because they pretty much do show off the boob. That seems to be half of the character, to be fair. Uh, it's all about butts and boobs. Okay, so first off, jumping attack. The height of that jump does look pretty high to me. That looks really high. She could maybe have jumped off the wall. I don't know how close she is to the wall. We'll discuss that later, because you do get to see a bit of a wall, so I'll be able to tell. But, okay. Jumping heavy punch there, right at the end by the looks of things. Goes into a standing heavy punch, which is like a double fister. Uh, what is it? William Shatner style? But she seems to cancel this into that move. Okay, the butt splash there. But let's rewind that a bit. You can see she just completely just cancels out of it there. The recovery so that indicates that that's probably a special move am i right or a target combo um i don't know if they exist yet okay so it special move it could be interesting it doesn't look much like a special move though but we'll see okay so now we have what looks to be he's already been hit from something vega has so we're quite far away from the corner but still quite close i guess that jump earlier but she, she goes to grab it looks like that's the part where it actually counts as a grab this could just be a normal grab doesn't look like it though. it looks like a command grab to be fair i know you can ex this later in the video so that is probably a command grab keeps it on the same side doesn't change sides okay so in this particular thing this looks like a command grab as well Spins round. Now we're right at the corner. So I think that jump in a, that jump earlier just was a normal jump. You know, that was quite high, really. But she spins him around, throws him at the corner, and then he sort of bounces off, and she can combo. So command grab that if you're in the corner, does something special. That's nice. Maybe get some more combo potential out of that. And she also has a slide here. You know, like uh, Vega and Guy doing Street Fighter Four and such. All the lots of things. Don't know how safe that'll be. But the fact that it bounced off the wall um, is pretty interesting. There. The man grabbed that bounced off the wall. Now we don't get to see that mid screen, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so Vega's doing his slide, and she's got the dreaded hop kick, man. Damn, those things were hard to deal with. You've got a. Well, crouch teching isn't really in this game, I don't think. So, I'm not sure. Basically, that's it's definitely got a, a profile there where the slide goes underneath. So, that is that is uh, annoying. They're hard to deal with, I find, sometimes. Okay, what else we got? Oh, she's, she seems to have got an anti-air there, a normal anti-air. It doesn't get much by the looks of things, but it looks very easy to use. It looks very easy. Okay, I think she was just about to backdash there. Hmm, not sure. 
Okay, so he's already in some sort of grab here. This looks like it could just be a back throw. Or a forward throw here. Yeah, it doesn't look too... Doesn't look too cinematic. So I think that's probably just a forward throw. Okay, she's got a V reversal as well. Here. And we got the chin. <laughs> which is nice. The chin there. Okay, so. That was V reversal. Now, I don't know why his... Why does his claw look so wobbly? And it's not because of any effect that seems to be going on. It just seems to always be wobbly. It's wobbly there. I'm not sure what that's about. But, okay. Have a look what we got here. So, it looks like some, some, some other type of grab. This could be a back throw, to be fair. It doesn't look cinematic. Yeah, that looks like a back throw. But still, it's still wobbly. The claw, I don't know what that's about. There. Okay, again, we've got another jump. Yes, that is a high jump. Just like she's got a Lena style jump, to be fair. Okay, that looks like a heavy kick. I don't know what that is, but it reminds me of Huerte's close standing heavy kick. Uh, it looks like maybe a command normal, like back heavy punch or something. Uh, but it launches like Al Huerte's standing close heavy kick. And then she does sort of, after it's finished, she doesn't cancel into it, she walks forward a bit, that's how you can tell. She seems to also have one of his like anti-air command grab as well. You see, she sort of slides up and then it links. She uses EX as well. Okay, so she seems here. She's using the X again. She seems here. Because she's not actually doing anything yet. It looks like she has maybe a low command grab. She's just sort of, sort of aim low, as you can see. The problem is, the command grab activates here. So, it could just be a normal one, but it looks like a low. So, I'm not sure. To me, it looks like a low. I'm going to guess that it is. Okay, she's using meter again. And I believe her teammate definitely comes here. There you go. So that's probably that might be what the normal one does. And then a teammate pops up from the back and slams her into the ground. Doesn't look like it has much combo potential. Uh, it looks like a combo ender, really, because she's sitting on the floor. Okay, so... She, He's already grabbed again. So she seems to have a lot of grabs. Um, let's see what this does. That could be a forward throw as well. That didn't look too cinematic. Oh, wait, okay. Uh, probably unlikely that a forward throw would have a teammate come in as well. A double hit. A stun. That wasn't... That could be a V-trigger. V-grab or something. Um, a bit strange, though, that she's got so many. Okay, what's this then? She's low... Okay, that looks like maybe a, a crouching heavy kick. Could be an overhead, like uh, Alfuerte's, quite possibly. He seems to recover, but for some reason, she pops in as well. Vega seems to be in recovery position now. He seems to have finished, seems to be neutral, what I mean. But she comes in as well, and hers seems to bounce. So whether you can, you might be able to use your assist, your V-trigger at any point, uh, even in recovery, maybe, I don't know. That'd be interesting. But she seems to combo with another one of the same. And then she seems to go into this strange move. Okay, so it looks like a, a change of direction. Okay. And then from here, you can see she just kind of cancels out of it. She goes into another one. She might have wreckers. <laughs> Maybe. And then she goes, she cancels from that into like a, a drop kick. Or oh, actually, a butt slam. So maybe that could be wreckers. You think? Maybe she's got wreckers? Very unusual. It seems like she's got a lot of moves. Yeah, very strange. No, she did EX them, so I'm not sure what the EX did. In that particular point. Okay, this move, I, I'm, I'm unsure. I've got a theory, but it's unlikely. 
So she seems to just use some sort of V gauge. Probably, it's probably a V trigger to be fair. She does this and um, that's her V, v gauge. Uh, she blocks a couple of moves. I don't know if that's necessary. But then when she hits the opponent, her teammate just seems to come in. Okay, I think that's probably what her V-trigger is. Her teammate comes in and it's a bit more of a barrage of attacks for a short period of time or something. Anytime you get a hit. And then she goes into the, the anti-air command grab again. This time, non-EX. Okay. Okay, an EX command grab. That one didn't look like it was low like the other one did, you know. This one looks like it's, uh, I wouldn't say overhead, just like a normal command grab. It kind of looks like Fei Long's or, or Yuna Yang type thing where she goes over the top. But we've seen this one before, haven't we? We've seen that one where she did that slam, but she didn't use the X last time. It just dropped him on the floor. But now she's used the X and her teammate's going to come in. So... Also looks like a combo ender, and they both sort of go into a stance. Now I'm not entirely sure why that arm there is uh, so so amazingly thin. It looks <laughs> it looks so thin for some reason. But uh, okay, and then this is obviously her super. There's the butt cheeks for you all. I know <laughs> I know you all wanted that. But wait, that's what you all waiting for. You may now leave the video. And uh, but I like she looks nice. She looks visually nice. Uh, I think. She's just not my type of character. Okay, and that is that a grab or a hit? It looks like a grab, to be fair. It looks kind of like she lunges forward, like um, possibly Abel's Ultra 2 in Street Fighter 4. And then we get so many butts. And, we, and we've seen this. And then we death. Death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> yeah, so that is the only way to die. A double butt slam. Okay, and obviously they're going for the comedic aspect with this lady. Um, you can see the jiggle effect. But obviously these kinds of poses are always um, comedic. She's definitely a comedic person. What's this thing here? What is this? Where did that come from? Okay, it's, okay, it's the claw. Again, the claw looks a bit wibbly wobbly. But when... <laughs> really distorted. That claw is crazy, man. What has happened? They've put, they put a lot of weird distorting effects into the video, by the looks of things. They're taking not only from the reveal trailer, there's also screenshots. And they show different things to the reveal trailer. So this just introduced the two characters. But I did notice sort of these, like, really thin arms compared to that one. And this leg has got a bit of a curve on it, which looks a bit strange. Same as that one. But obviously this is still a beta and... You know, she might not be modelled very much because she just comes on and goes off really quickly. Okay, so she seems to be have had a microphone there. I don't know what that is. That could be a taunt or maybe the idle animation. We know uh, Birdie's idle animation. He flicks a booger. And for the next screenshot, she has thrown the mic. So, and it just seemed to have caused an attack. So, either she's got a projectile, just a very small one by the looks of things. I don't know if, you know, just the coincidence that he's quite close. Or whether it's like an idle animation. She starts speaking into the microphone. And throws it much like Birdie's booger, and that is uh, Armika in a bombshell. So, to recap, she seemed to have what looked like a low grab, a normal grab. I wouldn't necessarily up overhead. I imagine it could be, you know, low overhead would be very dangerous though. Um, she seemed to have like some moves similar to Elf Fuerte. She didn't seem to have the movement. She seemed to have a very floaty jump, a very high jump at least, and. Um, I'm unsure about the wreckers. They seem to have some sort of wrecker going on. And her V-Trigger seems also to be... I think it's already, already confirmed that her V-Trigger is her teammate and her, you know, stuff like that. She, she comes in in different aspects. So I, I like the potential of setups and experimentation that she could have using her, her teammate. Her. Maybe Nanshiko? I'm not sure. But she seems like she would be pretty good in that respect. Um... I imagine when she hits from behind, that we saw, one time she sort of hit from behind. I got the feeling you're going to block the normal way. 
But uh, yeah, so I'm not really excited, but I'd like to hear if anyone else is excited about her. I've already talked to some people and they said, yeah, we're going to main her. But they said that about every character that's come out so far. Um, not my style of character. I look forward to the next. Thanks for watching, everyone.